Hi, welcome to Biography Made Easy. I'm Brenda. In this episode, I am going to be doing a product review of Razor Tips Cleaner Scraper Tool. Per Razor Tips website, this ingenious tool removes carbon buildup from most sharp razor tip tips quickly and easily, prolongs tip life compared to using abrasives, one hand operation, and works without turning off the power. I can't test their claims about prolonging the pin tip life, but I can test for everything else. So let's see if their claims are true. Overview Razor Tips Cleaner Scraper is a hard plastic tool with a hinged lid. Lifting the lid reveals two small metal scrapers with angled sides. The metal scrapers are permanently set into the tool. The scraper tool measures 6.5 inches long and it weighs 2.29 ounces or 65 grams. The upper edge of the metal scrapers are 3 16 inch long. The angled sides are 1 quarter inch long. Cost and Sourcing An internet search of razor tip cleaner scraper reveals several woodworking sites and Walmart that sell the scraper for just under $12. Razor tip sells direct and the scraper costs almost $13. I checked Amazon, but couldn't find it. Test 1. I started out with a clean and smooth pin tip. Then I started burning using a press and hold method to create really dark blotches on the board. The heat is pretty high on my burner, and this creates a lot of carbon that builds up quickly on the pin tip. If the carbon gets too thick, it blocks the heat of the pin tip and this reduces the color of the burn marks. Or in my case, I have to hold the pin tip to the board longer to get the same results as a carbon-free pin tip would. If it gets really bad, I would normally turn off the heat and clean the pin tip. Instead of doing that, I grab the scraper and gently rub the edge of the pin tip over it a couple times. This did remove the carbon, and I was able to burn at a quicker pace. At this point, I was really impressed with the scraper. I did this a couple more times, then I turned off the burner and scraped away the carbon one last time. Afterwards, I closely examined the pin tip. The metal had scratches all over it. Here's a close-up of the pin tip. Test 2. Once again, I started out with a clean and smooth pin tip. Then I began to burn darkly on leather. I knew this would create a lot of carbon buildup. I was concerned that maybe I messed up during my initial use of the scraper. Maybe I got the pin tip too close to the corners on the metal scraper prongs, and that's what caused the scratches. So I had to test this out again. This time I plan to be extremely careful and to use just the flat areas on the metal scraper prongs when cleaning the pin tips. This close-up shows the thick layer of carbon on the pin tip. Now I'm carefully scraping the pin tip on the metal prongs. I am making sure to keep the pin tip centered on the flat area of the prongs. I periodically check my progress to see if there is still carbon on the pin tip to be removed. The layer of carbon was really thick, so it took a bit of time to remove it all. Here's how the pin tip looked once I was done. The metal is scratched up. Repairing I first tried polishing the pin tip with a buffing compound applied to a piece of leather. That didn't remove the scratches, so I used an aggressive polishing tool, a Dremel equipped with a green rubber polishing bit. This removed the scratches fairly quickly. The problem with this method is that it also removes some of the metal from the pin tip. Use this too often and you will reduce the thickness of the pin tip to the point where it becomes unusable. I know this from personal experience. The green rubber polishing bits come in different styles. Mine are a little dirty from being used. 
These are readily found on Amazon, and I'll put a link to a set in the description below. One-handed use. I place the scraper on my easel and rub the pin tip along the upper edge of the prongs. That worked, even though my hand is not resting on it. If I tried to use the angle side of the prongs, the pin tip just pushed the scraper around. Next, I placed the scraper on a flat surface and tried to use it. The pin tip just pushed it around. If I rested my hand on the scraper, then it worked. Even with my hand resting on the scraper, I still couldn't use the sides of the metal prongs. Pros and cons. Let's start with the pros. It's easy to use. It can be used with one hand. It easily removes carbon. You can use it while the pin tip is hot. The cons. It leaves scratches on the pin tips. If the tool is not secured, it will move around. You need the weight of your hand or something to keep it from moving around. Would I recommend getting Razor Tips Cleaner Scraper? That's a tough question to answer. I like that you can use it while the pin tip is still powered on, but I really dislike the fact that it scratched up my pin tip. If you do a lot of really dark, heavy burning, then this tool might be worthwhile, especially if you have a pin tip that you could dedicate just for that. For example, the pin tip that I used in the video, I absolutely hate it. So if it gets ruined, I don't care. It is my dedicated pin tip for using and abusing. Another option is to use a pin tip from one of those really inexpensive wire tip sets found on Amazon. You can get a set of 20 plus wire tips for under $15. So if you ruin one of those, who cares? I'll put a link to one of those sets in the video description. Well, that is it for this video. I hope the information was helpful. In the video description, I will put links to the products that I used in the video. Also, on my website, Pyography Made Easy, I have the written version of this product review, and I'll put a link to that blog in the video description too. Well, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you soon.